I will not stand aside. What if I repay what was taken? Oh, man. I'll go with that one. As much as I, uh, as Iwako loves gold, he would really not want to kill these people just because they're dicks. Yeah, see, I always just kill them. <laughs> Repay us? You're talking about nearly two, uh, I mean 4,000. Oh, you dick. 5,000 gold, I think I know who the real thief is. I'll give you 3,000. Yeah, let's do that. I'll give you 3,000. Then we have a deal, my good man. A pleasure doing business with you, sir. Asana, you are free to go. Thank you, my lord. I can truly, cannot truly repay you for saving my life. Girl, you better know how hard that was for you or Claude to do. This is gold we're talking about. <laughs> this is this is stuff he doesn't like to part with. All right, though my yeah. father might have some small reward for you. Please excuse me now. This has been most un upsetting. Actually, how can I? How I can can't. You what? Uh, well, I was going to say, I have tons of gold. These people need My gold. Owes Hang on. Her life. I wish I had more to give. But I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of them, Catherine, how you saved my beloved Asana. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? What? And this is going to be purely roleplay, and I'm sure I'm going to get a whole lot of flack for this, but I'm going to go, because I can't give them money. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go to simulate, I'm just gonna go buy a whole bunch of crap and drop it on the ground and just say I gave him like 20,000 gold. Because I have sure, 57,000 gold and this whatever. town, if they're if they're robbing to steal bread from the black market, <laughs> perhaps I should help out a little bit. And who runs the black market, Chief? Oh god, right, so another yeah. slap in the face, he can't uh... Yeah. Yeah, but you, you, you'll get to him later, not during our session today, I guarantee you that. But you will have a chance later. But uh, do help his cronies. Let me go um, vote. find some expensive stuff to buy. Uh, what? Do, how are we doing on re recording time on this actual session so far? Ah, uh, let me check. Okay, so I dropped. Uh, I bought some items. I dropped it. I now have twenty-eight thousand gold. I gave them about twenty-nine thousand gold, and and uh, I know people are gonna be like, "What?" Well, yeah. Well, you know, people are starving. What do you want them to do? It's, yeah, it's, there's not a charity donation option. It's 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 it's, it's like that um oh, that guy in Baldur's Gate one where oh look the cat got the rat good job cat um in Baldur's Gate one where the guy's son died and I left stuff in his chest so that theoretically yeah, go, he could resurrect him. Yeah, go go don't go in there yet. Go talk to Baldazar first. Okay. Don't talk um, to that guy either. Go just go towards the go to the main map. And go towards the gates over here. The Temple of Joaquin or the gates? No 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 the big gates. Upper left. Gates. Upper left. Cave of the Dead. No, I, I see. I see the monastery gates. Yeah, yes. Got it. All right. Where? Where? Yeah, just we'll go that way. Ah. Otherwise. Right. You just you you were just telling me it, uh, another let's play of Tours. I got to start, but I can't start until I finish this. Darn it. Yes, yeah, because <laughs> it spoils it, and I and I totally want you to see his. His, uh, I want to see his 15 minutes Baldur's Gate 2. That's 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 what I was going to say. What surprised me was that he did it in 15 minutes. That he didn't break, you know, make it long. Let's make it 20 minutes or less. Right. Let's get all this in. No. So as a result, he's talking like an auctioneer. Okay, and then we went over here. And then, <laughs> why does it smell like wet dog in here? <laughs> you there. You must be the one Balthazar is expecting. Must I? Must I be? Yes, you must be. Perhaps. I have some questions. Any questions you have, you can direct to Balthazar himself. Gather any of your friends. Balthazar comes. Okay, that's ominous. So, you must be the ball spawn Melisande told me of. I've been expecting you. He's a ball spawn too, isn't he? Or do I not know this, or I'm not supposed to know, or... I, did it's she say if he was or not? It's not hard to figure out. Right, okay, good. Because I thought, I, I didn't know if she okay. actually told me or not, but I'm pretty sure. I let's, mean, come on. The name Balthazar itself is just kind of like, come yeah, on. Yeah, let, let's put it like this. Eagle Claw might know, but you sure as hell do. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, I am he. I am Balthazar, head of the monastic order here in Am Catherine, and its ruler as well, although that is not an official position. Melisande preceded you and told me of your coming. Well, good for her. 
All the power of a king and all the self-righteousness of a monk. A bad combination, if you ask me. Melisande has already left the village and did not say where she was going. She has left with me directions for you to reach these enclaves she mentioned. Is this what you expected? No, she said she would meet me here. I do not know where Melisande may have gone, nor do I care. As for you, Melisande has vouched for you. I'll tolerate your presence for now and give you what you need. Here are the maps to the enclaves Masana mentioned. Neither of them are very far from here. As you can see, add them to your own map if you wish. Uh, do with them as you wish. Eagle Claw and Kethran is available for your supplies and rest. Do not disturb my own activities and we will not come to grief. Is that understood? Um... No, I want to talk to him about this town being in dire straits. What sort of activities are you talking about? That's none of your business. You are not allowed into my fortress. Uh, yeah, anywhere else is open to you. Good day and good luck to you. No, I do your people are dying, dick. <laughs> Quick, run in there, uh, go. I'll, I'll give you the short version. It's always been a town well, yeah, living on the edge. Oh, let's let Angelo talk. Yeah. It's tricks and turnings. Put me in mind of my days with the lizard. But this is a proper campaign. Asim would be proud of you, Chief. What should we do now? Who's Asim? Who who's Asim? Do you know? No, I don't think I do. Ah. It's... Let's see. What do we do now? Reconnoiter here, I think. There may be local business to sort out. In truth, I wish I could flee all this. We have to be. We have been tested against the Drow. I will attack Sendai. Oh, so Sendai's a drow. Yes. Well, how does he know that? <laughs> I guess someone would know and tell him or whatnot. Uh, we know little also, of... Also, bear in mind that by the time you've downloaded Angelo, it's presumed you will have played the game 25 times. <laughs> uh, that's true, I suppose. Uh, I will let them come to me. I have coin in my hand here. It's none of your business. Esim. Oh, look, I can ask him. Esim? Oh, my captain of the Symbian Corps. I thought I'd mentioned him. I thought I'd mentioned him. Knocking off Yagashura was a hell of a stroke, Chief. I have confidence in you, but these two seem to have their armies as well, and it's still but the six of us. But we have Melisande and Balthazar. Ha! I don't trust either of them as far as I can throw them. I was telling you, and I'll say it to everyone here, because everyone's already played the game, but I haven't. I think Melisande's going to betray me. I see that coming a mile away. Oh, I'm the good little ball spot. I'm helping everybody. And I just happen to be having you go kill all these people for good. And not for me. Like, I can just see that she's having me be her little errand boy to go kill all the ball spawn for her. I know it's coming. All right. I just want to let everyone know because nine times out of ten, I can never see it coming. But this time, this time, I'll be, like, completely wrong. She'll be, like, the, the like... You know, Elmster in disguise or something. <laughs> uh, I will only say one thing about Melisande here. I will not say what she is or what she's doing. I will only say what she is not. Mm -hmm. She is not a Valspawn. Ooh. Beyond that, I will say nothing more. She is Elmster. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I couldn't ask for better, but uh, not 10,000 legions. Oh, I like that one. Heartwarming, Chief, but that won't win the battle. Thanks for hearing me out, Chief. We'll pull through this. It'll be a war for the history books. All now, right. as I was saying before Angelo uh, spoke up, and I don't mean to cut Angelo or you off, but this, this monastery has always been, you know, it's a desert town. It's always been living on the edge. Right. Now Balthazar is gathering his army and straining the resources of the town yet further, as the confrontation between the priest and the monk in your previous session showed you. Right. Yeah, you see, the monastery's always been there. It's always helped protect the town, but Balthazar has different priorities, and well, his priorities are about to change. I have a feeling that his priorities are going to more involve keeping my blade out of his throat. <laughs> I trust all is well. Ah. Yeah, you. The reason you saw Balthazar was to get the maps to the other two people. That's uh, why you saw him. I see. You saw him. I can't take him out first. Can I take him out first? Or do I have to go take not, them out? Not without a mod. Oh, okay. I see. All right, then. Somebody made a mod for that very purpose, but, you know. Yay, the boy appears busy. Yes. Well, you haven't talked to who you I need to talk to yet. 
to deal with. Tavern is sealed by Aurora Balthazar. I do not suggest you enter. Why? What's wrong with it? There is, this is where the town's dead are buried, and lately there have been disturbing reports of the dead having risen. Powerful creatures have awoken inside, although we are not sure why. Uh, then I've definitely got to go inside. Yeah, let's do that. I'm here to prevent innocent villagers, not strangers bristling with magic weapons, from getting going to their deaths. I'll let you go in, but the cavern is magically sealed. Sorry. Are you sure I can't convince you to go in? What are you implying? I, uh, I don't take kindly to that sort of talk, especially from someone who's watched so closely. Yes, sir. On your way, stranger. Ah, I want to go in. Not yet. Not yet. <sighs> Not yet. Not yet. Remember the dude who wanted to talk to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, Come Up to at the top of the cliff. Is it this yeah, guy? He, he, yeah. He, yeah. He can unlock it for you. Now, look up. Go back to the map a second. Uh-huh. Yes. From behind. See those other two dots on the map? The Smithy and Arcane Archives and the Smuggler's Cave? The Smuggler's Cave you can do later, but the Smithy and Arcane Archives, you wanted a maid shop. Well, there it is. <gasps> oh, good, good, good. Oh, but I gave now, off half my money. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now, there's a trick to getting to the top of the place to see the guy. You can't just walk up there like that. Yeah, see, you can't. All right, come back down. Don't go in the tavern, but there's a, there's a house next to the tavern. Keep coming uh, around. Well, hang on. Let me, go to the, let me go to the shop first. Right. Well, yeah, they, they, have, they have to go... Oh, through, I see. I have to go have up to go first. Get, ah. yeah. The up way is what we are going to now discover. Yeah, yeah, the house next to the tavern. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I went in this house because it said tavern, and I go in there, and it's not a tavern at all. I'm like, you lied to me, game. I, I'm so sad. I finally gave up that plus three sword of charisma that I'd been using since like the very beginning of Baldur's Gate 2. I yes. finally let it go. Yeah. I finally had better swords. Everyone's asleep. Now see the ladder. Oh, I see in the, the ladder. I do. Why are you? Hey, what kind of mom makes her kids sleep on the floor while she? Not cool. <laughs> Now you Not see, like you can climb up the rest of the way. Ah, yes. To the maid shop and to the guy's house and all that good stuff. I just gave off half my gold. That's all right, it was for a good cause. It'll help them buy bread from the black market or whatnot. Welcome to the newly relocated Arcana Archives. Oh, is this the same guy? Yes, it's the same guy. He somehow escaped Saradush. Um, let's see what you've got. You can ask him about how he escaped Saradush, too. I shall do that later. And the other guy in there, that little gnome, you mm -hmm. can't do what he wants. But uh, there, I can tell you what you're missing, though. Um, remember the pantaloons? Uh-huh. There was bronze pantaloons in BG1. Yeah, the ones I lost when I yeah. went over to the and second game. And silver pantaloons in BG2. And later in TOB, there's gold ones. And you put and you have all three of those. You go to that gnome, and he and he does. That's his one and only trick. He puts them together for you. But it's uh, logistically difficult to use anyway. He turns you into basically into this giant metal golem called the Big Metal Unit. And it's basically an over-the-top, overpowered attack thing. But it can't get through doors because it's a golem of huge size. <laughs> But like it can kill pretty much anything. Yes, it's it's basically, it's 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 an Easter egg basically. And that's what the pantaloons are for. What the hell are with these pantaloons? That's what the hell is with these pantaloons. I know I lost them. I'm so sad. They looked so good on me. All right. Uh, remind me, remind me, because it's been a while since I saw you in Saradush. Did you talk to V Kang in Saradush? The one that the, which one was V Kang? I I know I did, but I don't remember. The guy who vanished from trade meet in SOA. Yeah, yeah, the one that he gets nervous and he vanishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you I talked talk to him. him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you help him escape or did no, you? No, I, 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 I was told I could have, but uh, like someone said, well, you can just make him scared or whatnot. And uh, I was like, well, why? I could just save Saradus and then he won't have that problem anymore. Uh, <laughs> that worked out uh, so well. <laughs> well, the theory was sound. Pierce magic, summon, summon. Grave recall, power, silence. Do we have anything here? I'm looking for useful spells for Eagle Claw. Good 
Claw needs spells. Symbol death, symbol fear, energy drain, chain contingency. Power word, power word kill at this point is pretty useless, isn't it? I mean, anything yeah. that you try and use it on is going to have more than 60 health points. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he doesn't really have anything. Meteor swarm, but yeah, it's not really. Adventurer's robe, robe of the good archmage. It's not better than what I already have. Um, doesn't look like he has anything. 